Hey everybody, Todd Michael Putnam from Creative Adventure Tables bringing you another Adventure Table idea and this is Diablo's War on Heaven. Diablo's War on Heaven. So I'm a big fan of the Diablo franchise uh, franchise uh, video game. I played Diablo 1, 2, and 3. I've started playing 4 in mixed reviews. But anyways, that being aside, I'm a big fan of the Diablo franchise. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and obviously I'm a huge fan of tabletop role-playing games, so I thought, what the heck, why not uh, Why not combine the two? There's one area, in, or a couple areas in Diablo 3 where the forces of Diablo go and they actually assault heaven itself and you're up in the heavenly realms and it's been surrounded by demons and stuff. They're flying around in the sky, plus they pop up and crawl up along the walls and stuff and attack. Uh, and uh, you, of course, have to, to, to clear the area out and get rid of them. So I decided to make a tabletop adventure of that. Uh, based uh, using using one of the main characters from there, Tyriel, who's like uh, an archangel, essentially modeled after the archangel Michael in uh, in the Christian religion, um, and uh, he has been basically uh, um, cordoned off, or he's under assault in heaven itself, and so the players have to fight their way through uh, and through the gates of heaven and through its uh, its walls and whatnot, and uh, see if they can rescue Tyriel. So. Uh, this is Tyriel up here. Uh, this is the actual um, action figure from uh, WizKids. You can get that. It's like from Heroes of the Storm or something like that. You can buy it on Amazon, eBay, etc. Uh, so that's that big guy. And in the game, he's huge as well. So that's him up there. Uh, and then I have uh, the heroes down here. And they're starting from this section. And in the game, uh, the levels and stuff, basically portions of heaven get corrupted as the demons are, are in there doing their stuff. Uh, so I have these like purplish black rocks and stuff uh, that are popping up all over the place uh, in order to, um, oh, the sun's a little rough on that, let me see if I can get a, but uh, that are kind of popping up all over the place to see basically showing that, uh, you know, the area has been corrupted by the, the demonic influence as they attack. Uh, and what will the players have to do in something like this? Of course, they've got some trash mobs to deal with. They've got like a mini boss guy fight up here. Um, and then they've got a couple of keys that are going to be uh, in this wing of the uh, of the level and a second set of keys over here that they're going to have to fight some uh, demonic forces in order to uh, to retrieve them. Once they get those keys, then they can move forward, uh, take out some more demonic trash mobs that are going on. Uh, of course, just like in the uh, actual video game, uh, there's these uh, flying demons that'll zip around and f just land on top or in front of the characters and attack them as well. So you never know uh, when, when a, one of them is going to show up. Uh, but then the players have to come up either one of these two or both of these two and then fight this last guy here who's basically the gatekeeper. Uh, and once they kill him, uh, the, the keys basically open the doors. Once both doors are open, uh, then the gatekeeper can be fought. Uh, and once he has been destroyed, then that frees Tyriel, and then he can go out and clear out the rest of the demonic influence that uh, is it's, uh, in the war on heaven from Diablo. So that's the basic story behind it there. Uh, and then as far as the build is concerned, it's a mixture. Uh, the battle mat is, I believe, from Noble Knight Games. It's basically just a sky mat of clouds. Uh, and all the fluffy clouds that you see are literally nothing more than doll stuffing or doll filler that you can get on Amazon. I got a box of it for like eight bucks or something, uh, and I've been using it for years. Uh, the lighted stuff underneath, the panels themselves are from Dwarven Forge, and this um, transparency tray, it's actually supposed to be the River of Sticks. But you know what? Just because of the, uh, the coloration and whatnot, it worked well enough to uh, look like it's basically... Uh, holy clouds, if you will. So uh, both the transparency and the lighting panel itself are from Dwarven Forge. Uh, and then I'm using Warlock tiles from WizKids, uh, basically their town and uh, village set, believe it or not. I'm using that in order to create the, uh, the walls and the floors and stuff uh, around. And then um, it's also Dwarven Forge for this stuff right here, these tiles right here and these um, pillars, these marble pillars. Those are both Dwarven Forge. I believe those come from the Dungeons of Doom set. Uh, I'm sure you can find that on their, on their website. Uh, and then other than that, I'm just using, I'm gonna pull some of this back here so you can see, these are my, my Todd tiles underneath there, propping it up, giving it the extra levels, and then of course I just throw that in front of it in order to help uh, um, uh, 
camouflage it so basically it just looks like it's all floating on the clouds so that's it that's diablo's uh war on heaven uh as far as how the story goes and uh the way it's set up it's actually a pretty uh pretty simple build uh not a whole heck of a lot that it takes to do it uh but once of course you built make anything built off of like an existing franchise like World of Warcraft or Diablo or, or, or uh, Elder Scrolls or any of that kind of stuff. Um, it just adds that that extra lore that comes with it. Just adds so much fun to it. And uh, the players who undoubtedly have played games like that themselves, uh, they're just going to enjoy it that much more because uh, it's finally bringing it to life in a way that they never had it before. So that's it. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you guys again next adventure. Take care. Bye.